So I think one of the one of the great things we do, we do a lot, we do a lot of prep. So we'll work together to come up with her list of parent concerns. Like these are some things we want to make sure gets addressed or we or we ask about. Uh, sometimes we probably send a, a, a letter ahead of time so the team knows what we want them to make sure to cover. We get a draft copy of the IEP to review prior to the IEP so we can see the goals and we can see the accommodations and, and have Isabel take a look. Like, does this sound good? And sometimes we might want to like we we added one about containers or, you know, because the OT was like, yeah, she's kind of fine. And, but she's really not like she struggles with getting her her coat zipped and her. So we can we can push for some other areas. So we have all this planned out before we go into the meeting. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes there's some back and forth Isabel will have with her herself and the and the therapist to kind of work. I like to get as much worked out before the IEP as possible. Mm -hmm. So then the meeting itself is pretty like pretty easy. Um, accommodations I think are really important, but now that she's in, well, so we'll talk about like, what's, what are the struggles and what, where, you know, what's, what do you feel like is kind of going wrong? And then we can kind of game plan backwards. And I love accommodations, I think are really important in, in that way. So a lot of times, if you have the right accommodations that can sort of help solve a lot of the, a lot of the issues. And then like for the, the one coming up, uh, next week, like our, our big thing is, is probably going to be, well, we'll discuss doing some push in services and then, um, also an inclusion specialist. I really think that's probably the most important piece now that her academics are getting a little bit more rigorous. And it seems like the, the English and French, the gen ed teachers are, are kind of saying like, we don't really know we need help. Like, we don't know what to do. She's not doing what all the other kids are doing. So what do we do? So we need somebody to come in and kind of help guide them. 